Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. And today I am here with Jason and Sarah at the Peach Barn in Sister Bay. And uh, again, I am a learner and I want to know all about the Peach Barn. So I'm going to let Jason and Sarah talk about their whole journey about how they arrived here in Sister Bay behind the Olson's house in a garage that used to fix my car. So. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys take it away because I want to hear the whole story. I heard a little bit from my friend Kit, but I didn't hear everything. Do you want to start? Go, go ahead. Okay, I'll start. And then... you, you brought us up here. So. Okay. Reluctantly, right? Just kidding. So I, um, I've been coming up to Door County my whole life. My mom was one of five kids, and her brother passed away when he was 19. Mm. And her parents um, were, grew up in, or were growing up the kids in Kenosha and they decided they needed a place to kind of recover from losing a child and just bring the family together and so they had a lot of friends who had a place up in Garrett Bay and so in 1950s far away in Garrett far Bay. away in Garrett Bay <laughs> in the 1950s they bought a piece of land and built a small cabin on it and kind of the rest is history my mom has been bringing us up since we were um, born and I have a lot of cousins who are up here and so Door County has just been a really special place in my family um, and then when we met um, started bringing him up here and okay so where did you two meet yes. like where did that well how did that <laughs> yes. happen here here and he's yes where is he Colorado ah. I, I grew up in Colorado northern Colorado in Fort Collins okay and we met uh, in college at University of Iowa of Go all Hawks. places Go okay Hawks. Go Hawks. Yeah. okay and so then you're the one that introduced him to Door County. Yes. What did you think of it when you first came here? I turned her down for a year. She, she was like, oh, we're going to go up there for the 4th of July, and you're coming up, and you're going to meet my whole family. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, let's not do it this year. Wisconsin. Uh, like, I Wisconsin. Like, what was Northern. your reason? Well, so being an outsider, you, you're going, OK, northern Wisconsin, north woods, I have the woods in Colorado, I know that whole why do feeling. I need that? Yeah, like yeah. why do I I don't really want to go to the north woods and deal with bugs and all all this stuff that comes with it. <laughs> like all all the humidity and so I said I said, no, let's not do it this year. So I, I can't remember what where we went for that fourth of July. And I, I can't believe that she said yes. And then the next year comes. Uh, I knew I would get on the phone. The, the next oh, yeah. year comes and she goes, hey, we are going up to Door County next year. Whether you like it or not, we're going. I'm like, okay, all right, we'll go up there. I'm thinking we'll go up there for one year and then we'll go um, wherever else. Because we would, 4th of July was our holiday that we would go to different cities around the U.S. And we didn't have a 4th of July in one city ever. Well, because he was playing baseball. Yeah, I'm gonna have to so, ask him about that a little bit later because I'm yeah. all about baseball. Yeah. So, so he was. So like, I was in different cities, and she would just fly in, and we would have Fourth of July wherever I was at the times. time, and and this is after I, I started stop playing. Um, but we we came up here, and and I get up here, and I'm like, Sarah, you didn't tell me about this. You didn't show me any pictures, like. What is this place? Like this place is so cool and it's just magical, just like you were saying, but you didn't explain it very good. Clearly. And you so you needed more detail. Apparently. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Or I didn't believe her. I <laughs> um, so after that, we haven't missed a Fourth of July up here since, and that yeah. was 12, 13, something years ago. So we okay. we've come up. So you ever had gotten married, then. and then you eventually mm -hmm. kept coming. We were not married at the time. No, we, we were, yeah, we were getting, we were engaged. We were engaged. We're engaged yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yep. Finally got him to okay. yeah, come up. I don't know how that happened. Maybe it was eight years ago, nine years ago, because you were still playing ball. But yeah, so. 
<laughs> so you were still playing ball and you played for Orioles. Okay, that's Baltimore. Oh, so I played see? in there. I now played in there. Don't know this about you. You yeah. got to know this about people here. Secrets, right? It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. Now it's a big secret. <laughs> yeah. And so you played for the Orioles and does your friend also play for the Orioles? Did you have a friend or did oh. Kit just get the story wrong? Oh, that's different. Um, your friend from Iowa. My friend Carbon from Iowa. Oh, oh, my, my buddy. Yeah. Well, um, there's two friends. So he, um, so we, I go down to, we go down to, to Carbon 4 down in Madison and, and Brew. Um, yes, that's but the, my yeah. So my buddy down there, I played in college with him yeah. for a year. He's from Appleton and he went down to Iowa and we were all at uh, University of Iowa playing baseball together. And so I've had that friendship for a really long time. And um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, Amazing the friendships that you make playing baseball and traveling across the country and, and I'll run into people and, and I'll be in a city and they're like, hey, hey, I'm in this city too. And I played with them, you know, 15 years ago mm -hmm. doing something. But it was, it was really, it was really fun. Now, yeah. was he the one that was brewing beer or you were? We, we, we do, yeah. We, we go down there and, and brew. But he, with him? So he... He started Carbon 4 with his brother 10 years ago. Okay. So they've had, so now they're uh, a pretty big, they distribute all I've over Wisconsin, um, some in Illinois, some in Minnesota. Um, so we go down there. Okay. We go down to Madison. But you've sure. been brewing for yeah. like 13, 14 years. Be like we before did, you met him, you were brewing a we, we did home, we started home brewing about 12 years ago. We didn't really want to pay the the six ninety nine for a six pack, so we started brewing our own and drinking that. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how that's how it you all started. Drink Paps. Yeah, I don't yeah. Think that's six ninety nine. <laughs> but it was it was always like a, a passion of ours and something that we were really interested in. Uh, I grew up in Fort Collins, Colorado, and that's where a lot of the the push for craft breweries came from. New Belgium's there, Odell's, and I have a bunch of my really good friends, best friends growing up. Their parents own breweries, and my neighbor was uh, the original mechanic on the canning line at New Belgium. So it was always a, a thing that we were always interested in and thought that someday we would get into the brewery game and, and do it, but we weren't really planning now yeah, to get you in. never really it, thought Brewer it, County no ever. you just kind of poof happened yes. yeah okay so <laughs> I'm gonna fast forward so now you're in Door County and you didn't live here year-round yet no or so we were in Colorado still you would always yes. stay at the cottage in Garrett yes. Bay yeah you came to visit yeah so you didn't really have a place yet yes okay. exactly okay. and we were living in Colorado at the time so after school we were Kind of all over the U.S. and then made our way to Colorado for 10 years. Okay. And um, in the last two years, been just talking a lot about, you know, we have three little girls we're raising and what community do we want to raise them in. And um, we were looking for a place to buy more as maybe a place we would spend part of the year at. And then when this one became available, it, um, it was commercially zoned and it just kind of evolved into let's make a business. Um, what type of business would we want to do when we have a couple businesses in Colorado that are more produce based? So we had all peaches. these ideas. Peaches, yes. I bought a bag from you once. Yes. So I had some here and I love peaches. We'll have them yeah. in August again. Yeah. Um, One more month. Yeah. One more the month. countdown is on. Yeah. Yeah. Peaches. The countdown peaches is here on. when they're ready to rock. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah. Okay, so, but you did have a couple other opportunities to start it somewhere else in Door County, right? My brother mm -hmm. said that things were weird when you guys were trying to get a place. Oh, so we didn't know we were going to do breweries. So when we were going to buy a place, we first, like... We were trying to get just uh, more like a, a little like place a up cabin. in Gills Rock. Yeah. Up there. And then it ended up being passed down to some family members after okay, so a couple years. Make, yeah, when, and, and we were kind of first in line, and we were kind of banking on that for a couple years, that we were going to get this little place in Gills Rock and be up there and... And we had never really, we, we've always been in Elson Bay and, and up north, and we, we didn't ever think that we would be in Sister Bay, but it kind of just, just, happened. just happened. Yeah, that happened, and then it, 
it made us start looking at other places and this one popped up and it's the perfect yeah. spot because um, I, we always say location, location, location. And granted, you can't really see it from the road. So when you're sitting back here, it's nice and quiet and you can't really hear the highway. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I like that you have all the trees too. Like people don't know that about some things. They just see the sign on the road and they think, ah, but they should come in here because it's not like that what you think, people. It's not what you think. It's great. It's well, a secret. secret. It's another secret. <laughs> it's a secret. We, have, we have lots of secrets. It's a secret. It's peach tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peach barn. Come and see the peach barn. And there's more secrets than they'll tell you about it. Yeah. If you're lucky. Yeah. Maybe. If you're lucky. We might. Yeah. Okay, so now you have three little girls and you're here. Do you guys like living here? We love it. Yeah. And do you live here year round? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to be serving just beer? No. Okay. Is that something you don't want to talk about? That's a secret, but we're It's a secret. <laughs> See how many secrets you're learning about on this show? Um, we are still working through it, but we definitely need some sort of food to complement the beer. Peach so, cobbler. I mean, amazing. Peach amazing. Tacos, I know. And peach yes. this and that. And peach everything. Uh, all peaches. All, yes, yeah. everything will have peach ingredients. My Just brother there. has a big bag of dried mangoes in his office all the time, and I'm always gobbling them I down. I know, they're I'm so like, good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dried peaches are also so good, like if you hydro dehydrate yeah. them. Mm -hmm. So well, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, so so you we, we are planning just, I mean, we'll be doing beer and we do a uh, gluten-free seltzer that is technically a beer. Um, but the food option is definitely, you, you got to have food with beer. And so we're working on that. And It'll be a small we'll, menu. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. It'll be a small yeah. It won't be like table side service. You would more like no. put your food order in. Yeah. It yeah. comes up, they run it out, or you go pick it up. Yeah. Exactly. Kind of like at our yeah. shuck. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. easy. Yeah. Super simple. Exactly. Yeah. Super easy. Yeah. 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 We don't want to get into the food business There's per so se. There's so many good restaurants we wanna, here. We want to stay in the beer business and right. have yeah. food beer, as a yeah. secondary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, mean, I love my job, but, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. This would be easier if they could just serve themselves kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It makes it more conducive to kind of a family environment. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you talk about some of your beers? Like, what are your favorites? Um, how do you come up with the flavors? How do you guys, yeah, I'm not a beer yeah. maker. Yeah, so we, we have nine beers on tap this year. We had, have three seltzers. We doubled our, our, our menu from last year. We only had five and one. Um, how we come up with them, we, it's, it's uh, we kind of just experiment a little bit and come up with these pilot beers in the winter time and then um, you do those for a little bit, you fine tune it and then, and then you can roll out when you're comfortable with each one of them. Um, my personal favorite is the, the Horse Tooth, the Hazy IPA. I'm more of an IPA that one. person. That one. Um, but I think we, what we try to do with our whole menu is, is try to reach everyone with if you're a light beer drinker, we got something for you. If you're a dark beer drinker, we added one. If you're not a beer drinker, we got the seltzers and, and kind of all in like between. Like the fruity one. And the, yeah. 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 I know so when we, I go with my friends, we all have different tastes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's been, that's been some really good feedback that we've gotten. Because, um, I mean, I necessarily, like, we won't drink all the ones on the menu, but it wasn't, we're not trying to you know, put all of our favorites on the menu. We just want to make sure that like we're inclusive of everyone. And, and like if a family or if you come up here and you want a good experience and you want to just hang out and, and be relaxed, you want to have something that you yeah, want to I mean, enjoy. I mean, like the kids well. are playing around. I mean, that's what, that's what I like about down at our bar because when I had a kid and I'd go out, we'd be in a bar and there's nowhere for them to go. Yeah. They don't want to be in there. You can't even like finish your beer and they're all like, can we go, can we go? And I always like that the kids can run around but you still can see them, you know, but you're... There's a fence. Yeah, you can yeah. enjoy yeah, yeah. You yeah. corral you them up and you can see them, but you, yeah. And that's why, that's the reason why when we got this place, we were like, oh my gosh, this backyard, we could put it's a fence huge. in and we can put a kid area in and you can come up here because we will go to different cities with our three little kids and they like to run and they like to sometimes not listen to us and <laughs> sometimes sometimes <laughs> all the time yeah and you know you just want to go somewhere that that you want to relax just yeah. a little bit 
doesn't have to be for a long time, but just for a couple minutes and, and make sure that they're, they're safe. And, and so we really built it around having families. My brother Ralph and I, at 3 o'clock, we always go up in the corner of the restaurant window because the windows are so tinted and we just kind of people watch. Yeah. Because you know, we're having yes. a cup of coffee, we're tired, we just want to watch. Yeah. And there's like about 30 little kids yeah. and they're all dancing in an area like by the rock, by the road yes. there. And the people people came over with like eight boxes of wild tomato pizzas and ate them like in front of the restaurant. We're like, isn't that nice? But that's okay. And, but the kids are all running around, they're dancing and they're dancing because there's a band. And I said, and this is what I love about summer because I used to take like six kids to the beach and the way to get them tired out is just to let them run. Run. Let mm -hmm. them run and jump around and do whatever because by eight o'clock they're done. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they yes. sleep late. Get their energy so, yeah, out. They're having fun. They're and playing. then you have to they're do outside. it again the they're next day. They're not on video yes. games. Yeah. They're not watching TV. Yeah. They're outside having fun and meeting other kids. Yes. Yeah. And that's what that, that's also what we what she grew up coming up here. They you didn't have internet. Up there, mm -hmm. you didn't have. You I could still barely don't have. Know. I, yeah. we don't either. You didn't, you didn't have phone service. You didn't have anything. And when we would, when she would bring me up, we would drive up, park, and then we wouldn't get in the car. So we would bike. And really, the only places where we went were like Pioneer Store. Yeah. And Whitman, biking, the biking. and the biking, and yeah, like the only there because we could, we were just biking, exactly. no cars. Perfect location, yeah, yeah. It was right there. Gills Rock, we'd go into Gills Rock yeah. and Charlie's. And yeah, we so. this each of our beers has a poem on it that okay, cool. um, my sister wrote. Um, but this one, the Silo Sisters, is a poem about our three daughters. Oh, and so each, but each beer the poem? on the back, there's like a small, they're just these really small poems. Okay, so this is about um, their three daughters, and yes. I'm going to read you the poem real quick because I think that's cool. Three gold and rosy sisters at the Magic Peach Palace are usually sweet, sometimes tangy, and occasionally sour. <laughs> like Sour Patch Kids. Yes. <laughs> and then each one kind of has a story to it, and each has a poem. Like Harry and Sally, those are my grandparents, so that's oh. why we come up here. They just happen awesome. to have names here inside. They just happen yeah. happened to work out that yeah. we could play off that movie. Yeah. That was really, really cool. Yeah, I, I love would, that. Yeah. Well, I have, we were talking about kids. When the kids come here, are there kids' beverages? Like, what do they get to choices of drinking? If yes. we're all sipping on beer, what do they sip on? Actually, we should do have kids' have, like, a kid plate. drink or a kid cider or a kid <laughs> lemonade? Or we have, we have cherry, lemonade. cherry lemonade. We have chocolate milk. And we have, like, some soda. Yeah, so they yeah. could some, some around and grab Wisco pop yeah. soda. It's a, like an organic, um, local okay. soda. So they yeah. get some. Yes. Yeah. Mom and dad yeah. are happy, and then they... But their they favorite have. thing is, by far, we have this novelty ice cream thing in there, and it is this SpongeBob <laughs> ice cream that is not very good, but the kids... <laughs> is it blue? It, it looks like, like the SpongeBob, the, the cartoon character. So they. It could taste just, like crap and kids would oh, still it does. love it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They Dumb still love it. Does. For the yeah. Eyes. Oh, yeah. My I've, son I've hated ice cream, not... but he always ate Blue Moon. I'm like, that is the worst ice cream ever. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. it, like, it was blue and his face was blue, his tongue yes. was blue, it's all he cared about. Covered in it. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. It's like Blue Moon. Okay. Of all the flavors, yeah. But SpongeBob. Yeah, that's yeah. the number one that's that's ice cream. That's that's yeah. <laughs> Kids. Yeah. Kids. Anything else you want to talk about? Because there's so much to talk about. Which, which, I mean, should we try some beers? Yeah. yeah. Let's try some. Now, they already know that I don't like, um, like the hoppy beers. I like more like smooth beers, blondes, um, sours, things like that. Um, I always joke because my co-worker Bryn and I both are opposites in everything. She, Love it. Yeah. So everything she suggests, I'm like, no, I'll take the opposite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the yeah. first one, the first one's going to be a Pilsner. It's our lightest beer on the menu. And we, we did that for more of like a football beer, an easy drinking summertime that there's a lot of light beer drinkers. It's a light beer region. And so we did that this winter to, to kind of hit that crowd. Yes, because we all might get fat on beer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And everyone loves football up here, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> so, so I'm going to try this one real quick. Okay. Should I read the poem while you try so this it? This is a Mayor Pilsner. She's going to oh. read the poem, and I'm going to be sipping and enjoying the poem. This Pilsner sings like a perfect pass at Lambeau where the bears still suck. <laughs> Plus the Pilsner. This is good. We had to get a dig in there somehow. Yeah, right? This is good. I like this. Okay, so this one is delicious. I like that one. Okay. 
And then the next one is Where Harry Met Sally. It's our farmhouse. It is our staple beer. Um, it might be because we have farmhouse in the name. We don't know, but it's also a light beer. It's like a spotted cow. You know why it's I, the most famous? Because the poem probably says, I'll have what she's having. I know. <laughs> we should have put that. We should have oh put my that. Gosh, that should have been. That would have been a good one. That's like yes. the best line ever. I'll, I'll have, have what, what she's, she's having. having. Maybe we'll add that to the can next year. I, yes. In I little, think, little writing. Yes. Mm, we'll yeah. we'll quote you on it. That one's really yes. popular. That one is a good one. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> And then the O'Henry Whit beer is um, it's like a blue moon. It's Ooh, uh, it's for it's for the people who are not necessarily into the hoppiness of an IPA, but really like floral and and uh, um, the fruit notes. So okay. it's, it's very peach infused. I'm gonna try this one. Out. It's like I a pe I peach this. blue I moon. This is my too. first one I had when I came here. Yes, I really liked it. That one, we sold out of that one last year real fast. Yes. It, yeah, it, it's, well, a, that is a, it's yeah. a really, it's it's a really I, popular yeah, one. That's for sure. Actually, yeah. and I'm kind of weird because my friend Erin Erickson used to always give me beer in a tall glass with ice. Mm -hmm. She was, you can <laughs> really? drink more when you put it on ice. And she would yeah. pour it on a big glass with like a big oh my tall gosh. thing of rocks and we pour more yeah. beer on top. Yeah. <laughs> but like the shandies and all that. Oh, oh yeah, fair. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Put some but orange slices really in it. This is really good. I love this one. Yeah, I'm going to keep it cold. Just water it down a little bit. Yum. That one's a good one. Okay. And then the last one is our peach sour because you are at the peach barn and this is this is kind of a medium uh, sour. It's not too sour, but it is it does get a little bit of sweet and sour notes in it. So okay. We've had we've had some we've had good good reviews on it. A lot of wine drinkers will taste that and be like, oh, that, that kind of tastes like my, my cab, or, or you can you can yeah. have the hints of it, so, yeah. yeah. It doesn't taste like weedy or hoppy or mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, it's it's really just different. nice yeah. and fizzy, and yeah. if people like a little more sweet, it's a little more sweet. Yeah. 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 And this then is delicious. there's also a cherry sour if you if Ooh. people like the cherry, you know, more than Yeah, because peaches. we're in cherry land. Exactly. A little, little bit more tart as, yeah, as cherries delicious. are, so. Yeah. Ladies would like this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. my favorite. My dad also likes that one, so. <laughs> I bet. Now, your family, do they still live in Colorado? They do. Yeah, they, they are from, they're still in Fort Collins, but my parents just another purchased. Secret. Yeah, another <laughs> secret. She's getting out all the secrets. They just purchased a, a place up here. So really? they, they close Close in a to couple you? In Nelson Bay. Nelson oh, Bay. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But your so parents still will. have your cabin, so then you have so another place in Nelson Bay, and you yeah. have this place. Now you're going to have people coming from all over all to over. stay with you. Well, I know. Actually, you know, is that good? One of my <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You know why it's good? Because only your friends that are your friends, because then they can do whatever they want to do, and they don't need your help. Totally. Mm. That's Yes, that's exactly. I don't exactly. want to walk anyone yes. around or show them what to nope, do. Just you go with crash the door. Just go do stuff. Yeah, do thing. We'll meet you later. Yes. Yeah. Actually, one of my cousins is actually sitting right over there. Okay. <laughs> they come in. Yeah, I mean, as long as they know where the door is and right? how to get in and out, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you later. i got to go to work and i got to go do this. Yeah. yeah. But they're, they're excited. They yeah. And they're originally from Florida, and they moved out to Colorado, and, and they came here. And, and they like it they, here, too. Oh, man, they both go... Well, it looks like the ocean out there. <laughs> it reminds me of, of growing up in Florida. I'm like, well, it's better, better than Florida. Yeah. yeah. Unlike, I remember, this is always a big joke to me, I'll never forget this. I went out to California with my sister-in-law, who was going to some kind of fashion institute in, like, oh, L.A. Wow. or something. And um, all the girls I met said, oh, where are you from? And I said, well, I'm from where she's from. I'm back in Wisconsin. Well, where's that from? And I'm like, I'm like, by Chicago? Yeah. Oh, what ocean is that on? <laughs> and I'm like, it's on the Great Lakes. And they're like, they have no idea what oh, the Great Lakes were. Gosh. I was like, okay, I got to go now. Oh, we'll keep it a secret. Yeah, right. it's a secret. It's the a se Great Lakes are a secret. That's a se <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, I know. I think the secret's getting out. It's starting yeah. to get out. And when people say this is like the Cape Cod of the Midwest, I mean, I haven't been to Cape Cod, but I've seen lots of cool pictures. Yeah. And it probably is the Cape Cod, of the most, but not as busy. Because I yeah. think Cape Cod is like crazy busy, probably yeah. like way busier than Door County is. Yeah. I think. We've been there once. I prefer yeah. this. Do you? Yeah. 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 I've never been over there. Yeah. I'm, I don't. I wouldn't know. Yeah. But I like this this area too. I love yeah. growing up here. You know, I love traveling and I like looking around. But I always want to come home. I can't yeah. wait to come back home. I can't. You know, I want to turn on the news every day and see all the horrible weather and the fires and the horrible shootings and all the bad news out there. I feel like, gosh, we live in this little sheltered 
bubble up here that nothing terrible really happens. Not that we don't care, not that we would, but I feel safe here. Yeah. I feel safe here. That was, that was a main, that was one of the, the main reasons why we, we started looking and like we're serious about up here because we were in Denver and um, the pandemic hits and you know, you can't go anywhere and it was just growing so much and there's so many cars and Amazon trucks pulling out and mm -hmm. our kids are on those scooters going way too fast and there's alleys and I don't know how many nights that we woke up thinking, are we doing? Are we in the right place? And is this is this really the place that we want to grow up? just like my friend Kit. Grow up and, he was in yeah, Chicago and said yeah. the same thing. I need yeah. to go up where my kids can run around and I can yeah, yeah. be free. And yeah. and it's Straight even on. better now that we're up here. It's even better than than what we we pictured. Yeah. With I mean the community is amazing. Gibraltar is awesome. Like it. They absolutely love, love it. it. Yeah. yeah. They love it. Gibraltar's yeah. a fun school. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like and uh, they like running into all their friends everywhere we go. <laughs> like go so to the beach. So if we go to any park, there. any yeah. park, yeah. you can go play with one of your friends because you know, yeah. you'll know them. We'll, we'll, we'll be at Piggly Wiggly and we'll, one of the girls will be like, hey, that's that's so-and-so. I'm like, I have no idea who that is, but you know. I yeah. know. When they're, all the kids are little, they, you know, I remember going to the beach too and we used to not have cherry shakers. We had on the migrant workers come up and they had all yeah. their kids and the kids would all go down to the beach at the end of the day because they had to work all day. Yeah. Little kids were picking cherries, wow. you know, and then all the migrant workers would come down to the beach and we, all of us couldn't wait to play with the kids. They would all come down, but they couldn't speak English. We couldn't speak Spanish, but we all just thought, play. like, this is the best ever. We could play play with more kids and there's more kids at the beach. Yeah, That's so fun. I'm getting totally off track. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about more about your place here. <laughs> Now, what big goals do you have now coming up? You're going to be the baseball coach up at Gibraltar. <laughs> you should be. Little league coach. I, I don't know about Cal that. Cal Ripken coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, do enjoy, I do enjoy coaching baseball, and I did that after my baseball career. And kind of in the middle of it, I, I was coaching traveling high school teams and trying to get these kids scholarships to colleges, and, and that was really a big passion of mine for... Um, I don't know, six or seven years, yeah. and and that's kind of what I was what I was thinking of going into after after playing was was to get these kids and, and to really make make a big push for them. So it is a big passion of mine. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Do any is, of your girls like it? They're they're getting into it a little bit more. Yeah. They're, they're in soccer. They're yeah. in soccer and softball. Harper's in softball, yeah. but she hasn't really picked up on it yet. So. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna let them pick their own, but kind of. Well, I mean, you've got they three have to play kids. Sports. I only had one. Yeah, they I have was to. on three different teams. Yeah. I swear to God, I was traveling all over. I thought I was doing myself a favor by enrolling him in Cal mm -mm. Ripken, but they were in Surgeon Bay. Mm -mm. Yeah. So he has to oh, practice man. three days a week. Plus, he's got oh, games every goodness. two nights a week. You know, I get down to work at four, and then I'd have to haul him down there. And then I thought, oh, it's such a great thing to be invited on to the all-star team well, well hello no it's not and that's why no now one you have to travel now it's like going to madison and we're now oh we're going down goodness. to so south milwaukee and all over the place and i can't go like yeah. i couldn't go mm -hmm. yeah i could go saturday yeah. and it's have to come home big commitment. Yeah. Yeah. sports are, are enormous commitments yeah it's all right well i'm 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 telling you people this is a little bit different than you think it is. You need to come here and hang out at night or hang out in the afternoon, you know, like happy hour even. Yeah. It's nice and shady back here. They have all places to sit. And who doesn't want to have a beer or a homemade beer? And when you guys have food, everybody can come up here and just have like a little, I call it fika. You know, when you yes. have a little something something with yes. something. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be coffee, right? Get. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to be <laughs> coffee. It can be one of these beers. And um, meet Jason and Sarah, because this is a mom and pop's operation, and we love that about Door County. Everybody can come and meet you guys, because you're working all the time, I'm all sure. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Do you have enough help? Mm -hmm. We actually we do, do this have year. help. Yeah. You yeah. do? We have yeah. some How about really, the last really year? great Did workers. Have enough? We had zero no help. help. Well, we had, we had her cousin oh, helped yes. a little bit. She was getting her RN down in Kenosha, and she would come up every... A uh, couple weeks for a couple days, but other than that, we we were here the entire 
every minute of the day last year. Really? And, I mean, we're still here. Every, <laughs> we're still here every minute. We just, uh, yeah. We it's have, great we have, to have, we have your own place, great but don't, you too. will not have yeah. a life. You will yeah. not have a life, yeah. Especially if fun. you live where the place is. Oh, yeah, you're right if you, here. If you can somersault to work, you know. <laughs> Sorry I'm not at work today. You're, like, right here. Yeah. yeah. Don't knock on the door, though. Oh, yeah. So you don't need any help. I don't have to put it out there. Yeah. Hey, everybody, uh, they need some help. We have we, live music too. We are, we are doing, yeah, oh yeah, we started live music this year and it's oh yeah, really, I was ask it's you really about nice. That. Yeah. It's okay, really so nice. live music you're going to have. When do yeah. you have live, live music? We have a couple days a week. Do we, we don't have, we have a schedule on our website, peachbarnbrewing.com, yeah. and it's under the, the live music tab. We, we don't have set days. It's kind of just each week is different. So check we, on that on their website if you want to come and have some good music. I want to say there's probably 25 more dates in the this yeah. summer that we have booked already. Yeah. We'll okay. And then do you have a Facebook page as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so they have a Facebook page. And then also, do you ever rent this out? Oh, yeah, Like, we can do. someone say, I want a wedding here? Yeah. Or I want to have a birthday party here? Or... Yes, yeah. we do that. Yeah, so we do events. We do birthdays. We do um, retirement parties. We'll do business parties. Do you close weddings. them totally and then just do that one event? Or do you keep it open and just kind of quarter off a section? Depends what people want. So we kind of have, again, it's about kind of meeting our they customers' needs. You. Yeah, so we yeah. have a couple different options. We can just rent a pergola. We have a couple pergolas. We can just rent the inside, just rent the outside. Okay. So we have several weddings and events this summer. Yeah. So this we'll is just, a good location for yeah. a wedding. Yeah. We didn't know it was going to turn into that, and people started asking us last year, and, and we yeah. ended up, we had one groom's dinner last year, yeah. and it was really, really oh, casual yeah. and nice. And so, if you have um, a groom's dinner, do they cater in the food? Yeah, they do. You guys yes. just supply everything else. Yes, yep. exactly. Okay. That's good. And good we, to know everyone. Yeah. Yes. You have to throw that in there. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you guys want to say? Or what else? Do, I'm so excited for you. This is going to be a great little spot. Yeah, no, we're just we're just really excited to be here and to be a part of Door County and Sister Bay. We yeah, well, absolutely we're love it here. Guys and here. This is awesome. Yeah. I'm going to have to go very far to get a good beer. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like to go next door to my own bar because then i got to get stuck talking to someone. Then <laughs> you can't hide. You can't yeah, hide you down can't. there. I'm trying to watch the basketball game and I'm talking to 10 other people. I'm like, <laughs> Gotta go. We'll come up here and we'll come. We'll yeah, come to yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go home, have a beer. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode with Sarah and Jason at the Peach Tree Brewing or Peach Barn. I keep seeing Peach Tree, <laughs> Peach Barn Brewing, and they have all these delicious beers. You guys have where they can just come up and just buy beer and take it to the beach? Yep, mm -hmm. yep. we've so got that too, to go beer. Single cans or six packs? Four or packs. Pa four packs. Yes. You guys can come up and get loaded up for the beach or your boat trip and uh, take along a little bit of peach barn beer. Anyway, uh, thanks for talking to me. I love this place. It's probably one of my favorite places in Sister Bay. It's nice and quiet when it's not busy up here and they're still open. So if you want to just get together with your friends and talk, it's a perfect spot. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe to another episode of Door County Girl on the bottom, and we'll see you next time. So cheers, everyone. I'm going to grab this beer. I don't know. I sipped out cheers. of them, but are you guys weird about that? No. I don't cheers. Know that right cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time.